Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. Today's video is dedicated entirely to peptides. I adore peptides, and I use the peptide serum in my morning and evening skincare routine without fail. They offer so many amazing benefits, from the anti-aging, such as plumping out the skin, minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. They can hydrate us to the gods, and also at the margins, they can help to tackle dark spots and discoloration. Honestly, I think there's a peptide serum out there for just about everyone, but finding your perfect pairing can be a little bit tricky. Tricky. Hopefully that's where today's video comes in. I'm going to be bringing out Tear Maker, my favourite ranking tool. I'm going to be breaking apart some of the best selling and most popular peptide serums and assigning them to three categories. Top tier, we have the Peptide Perfection. These are the ding 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 holy grail peptide serums that honestly will fit beautifully into anyone's skincare routine. The middle tier is going to be okay for starters. These are the peptide serums that will work for some, but I just think ultimately there are some better offerings on the market. The and finally, we have the pointless peptides. These are wah, 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 total fail products. Nothing to see here. Save your hard earned coin and invest in some of the other great options available. I want you to sit back, relax as we rank some peptide serums. Now I'm going to cut the waffle and delve straight on in, but very quickly before I do, the usual call to arms. And that's to say, if you haven't already, if you could reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. Honestly, it supports me and the channel so, so much. And I'm eternally grateful for all the love and support that you guys give me. So from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so, so much. And I love you all forever. Now, without further ado, shall we bring on our first product? And it is this. This is the Neod Copper Amino Isolate Serum. Now, anybody that's watched this channel, even for like a nanosecond, will know I'm the ultimate fangirl when it comes to this product. And this is going firmly into the peptide perfection category. Honestly, it doesn't get better than this. Not only do you have a beautiful blend of peptides and copper peptides, which are kind of going to do it all. You've got some hydrating ones, some that are going to even out the complexion, and also to boost the collagen and elastin levels in the skin to help eliminate those fine lines and wrinkles. This is just an all-round wonder product, but the delivery technology in this is what I think sets it apart. The way that this is formulated means that more of those peptides get to where they need to do in order to deliver all those fantastic benefits. You get less wasted, which means you get quicker and more effective results. Honestly, having used this on and off for the past three years, every time I think, no, let's find a cheaper alternative, because this isn't the most drugstore friendly, I'm gonna call that out, I always regret it and think, no, I just never get quite the same results as this one. If you don't mind spending a little bit extra to get a little bit extra, this is definitely like the ultimate peptide goals product, and I just don't think it gets better than that. For everyone out there that maybe doesn't want to reach for Neod prices, and I totally hear you, you know, the very best skincare products are those that you use consistently. There is no point reaching for something that's outside of your budget and then using it a bit sparingly, maybe taking breaks from it because you can't afford to repurchase it. Consistency is key when it comes to um, peptides, as with all skincare. So I'd say always choose one that matches your personal budget and what you're willing to spend on skincare. And that way you can enjoy it and use it consistently. So a slightly less expensive option to the Neod, but equally worthy of that peptide perfection category is this, the Hylamide Sub-Q Skin. Another firm, firm favourite of mine. I don't think the delivery technology in this is quite as good as the Neod, but you have that same beautiful blend of different peptides that are going to deliver different benefits for the skin. You might have to wait just a little bit longer to see the results from this product, but honestly, when they happen, you will be so, so impressed. Both of these, I'd say, are like next level holy grail peptide serums, and my two favourites that I'm never without. Now, unfortunately, after that brief fangirl moment about those two products, we are going to come on to our first pointless peptide, and that goes to the Inculist Peptide moisturizer. Honestly, whilst this is a great moisturiser, it feels really nice and lightweight on the skin, I like the packaging, and I really like the results in terms of the hydration I got from it. I think to call this a peptide moisturiser is a bit misleading, because it has one peptide and it's right, right, right down there on the ingredients list. I think this is a case of clever marketing by the Inklist, rather than wanting the peptides in this product to actually deliver any additional value. There are better peptides out there, so I'd say if you're reaching for this product as a great moisturiser, honestly, continue to use it, because I think it definitely delivers that. If you're using this as your standalone peptide serum and product, I think I'd change to one of the others mentioned in this video just to get a little extra efficacy when it comes to those results that you can expect because you're not getting a whole lot of peptides in this product and it's our first fail of the day. Now, when it comes to peptides, a lot of people's minds will automatically go to the Paula's Choice Peptide Booster. And that's because it was one of the first commercially available peptide serums on the market. I definitely applaud Paula's Choice really leading the way. 
they were incorporating peptides into products way before it was a trendy must-have ingredient and I think they led the way with the innovation on this one. However for me I'm sitting it firmly in the okay for starters category. It's certainly not a bad product. Honestly you get a blend of different peptides in here which I think is something definitely to look out for. Different peptides will offer different results and outcomes for the skin so having a nice blend of different ones formulated within a product I think is a really really good thing. For me with this product it's the price point that really means it stops becoming part of that peptide perfection category. So this is roughly the same price point as the Neod Copper Amino Isolate Serum here in the UK and that for me just means I always want to gravitate to the Neod one which has a better delivery mechanism. I know the Paula's Choice price range does vary wildly from country to country so it might be the case that this is way cheaper than the Neod wherever you live so definitely do use the links that I've left in the description box below to check the price point where you are. Whilst this is a really great starter point on your peptide journey I would encourage everyone to evolve onto the Neod product which at least here in the UK is a very similar price point but just has a better delivery mechanism so you're just going to get enhanced results from it. Definitely nothing wrong with this product and if you absolutely adore it then sound up in the comment section below and like I say extra points for Paula's Choice for really leading the way when it came to peptides. Now one of the newest peptide serums to hit the market and one that's getting a lot of hype and attention at the moment is the Youth to the People Triple Peptide Serum. Unfortunately I don't think that hype is matched by the results you're going to get from this product and it's going firmly in the pointless peptides category. The reason for this is the £60 price point that they want to charge for this product when actually the peptides that it's formulated with are very similar to some of the other drugstore ones you can get elsewhere on the market. I really hate overpaying for skincare because I always think, you know, every time that we overpay for one of our ingredients, it means that we can't invest in another one. This is actually more expensive than what I consider like the gold standard Holy Grail Neod product and you actually get far less for it. The packaging is lovely and if you're the ultimate you know youth of the people fangirl you'll probably absolutely adore this product there's certainly nothing wrong with it it's just that price point that means actually you're overpaying for something that is fairly standard in terms of its formulation and you can just get the same blend of peptides elsewhere for literally one tenth of the cost so for me this is a firm firm pass now before i end this video there's two other products that i want to call out first and foremost the Ordinary Buffet. Now this again, firm favourite for so many people out there, but for me, it's going in the pointless peptides category. Now, before you all read me to filth and I need to duck and cover, because I know this is a firm favourite for a lot of people and a lot of people get some really great results from it. The reason I'm putting it in the pointless peptides category is because actually you could just combine these two products, which is the Ordinary Azuraline and the Ordinary Matrixel together, couple of drops in the palm of your hand and apply it to the skin and you actually get a better and a higher concentration of these two key peptides than you get in the buffet which has a very similar formulation. Also the buffet contains castor oil which can be problematic for a lot of people particularly those that have very oily acne prone skin. It's one of the key acne triggers out there and a lot of people don't know that so they use the product to find that they're breaking out and think there must be something wrong with my skin maybe something else has changed. Actually it could be the buffet that's causing that reaction. It's certainly not a bad product and like I say with all the things in skincare if it works for you continue to use it but honestly I think for the same price point you'll actually get better results by combining these two the azure line and the matrixel together in the palm of your hand to get your ultimate peptide fix very similar concoction in terms of the peptides similar price point but just an increase in concentration better results without that slightly problematic castor oil honestly this little hack of combining these two is ding 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 total holy grail and all affordable on a drugstore budget Finally, I want to talk about the Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum, a relatively newcomer to the peptide world and one that a lot of you guys are recommending to me. I definitely think this is a good, good product. The price point to die for. Everything Good Molecules is well priced and I definitely think, you know, Good Molecules, The Ordinary, prove that you don't have to overpay to get your hands on a real good quality peptide. For me, this one will work really, really well but you don't quite have the same advanced peptide technology that you do have in some of the other products. So I'm going to say okay for starters. Definitely a great, great product. The one that I would recommend if you're new to peptides and want a really affordable way to start your peptide journey but a product that's going to deliver really good results. Definitely, definitely the Good Molecule Super Peptide Serum is where it's at. But for me, I still come back to this original hack. If you want to keep it drugstore, you want to get maximum benefits in terms of anti-aging, hydration, and smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles, but you don't want to overpay, just combine these two products together, the Azuraline and the Matrixel. I sound like a broken record, but take it from me. 
this was game changing. And again, I think the Good Molecule Super Peptide Serum offers something really nice to the market. The game changing hack that I just showed you, really next level amazing. So there you have it guys, a ranking of the best selling peptide serums on the market. You'll probably see that Decium dominate this list and that's just because honestly, when it comes to peptides, I think they're unparalleled. There are other peptide serums out there, the one by Medicaid, I know is getting a lot of attention at the moment. There's one by Beauty Pie, which again, people seem to be really popular. I left them out of this list just because of the super high price point that they come with. And I wanted to demonstrate that, you know what? You can deliver some great anti-aging, hydrating and pigment correcting benefits from your peptide serum without necessarily needing to break the bank. There's something here for every single price point, but sound off in the comment section below with what your holy grail peptide is, because I would love to know your personal recommendations. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.